Hello dear colleagues, our company Provo Tech is an independent developer and manufacturer of electronic instrument transformers for digital substations. I am glad to present you this brief introduction to the latest pilot projects, tests and experiments that helped us improve our transformers and reach the leading positions in our field. First of all, before diving deep into the pilot results, let us take a look at the EFOCT itself. Fiber optical current transformer consists of three interconnected parts. 1. Sensing elements with special sensitive fiber. This sensing element can be produced in two different types, either hard case with sensitive fiber inside the head that can be mounted on the high voltage insulator to provide required insulation parameters, or it can be flexible, looking like a small piece of terminated fiber optical cable that can be wrapped around the bus and can be easily mounted on any equipment like cable bushings without disassembling of the primary circuit. 2. The electronic processing unit contains all the electronic and optical components to carry out measurements of three phases and produce a digital sampled values data stream. 3. Special fiber cable that connects EPU with sensing elements. It is a fully dielectric protected cable for outdoor installation that contains three fiber for optical current measurement. In case of redundancy is necessary, then the sensing element can have an extra fiber loop connected to its own independent fiber inside the head that goes down through the column, spliced in its own splicing box, and traced through the switch yard by its own independent line. After that, it will be connected to its own EPU, and as a result, you will get 100% redundancy, having no influence between coils, like in conventional current transformers. Sensing elements are one of the most important parts of the EFOCT. Their construction varies upon the customer's requests and can be conditionally divided into three cases. 1. Flexible. Sensing element is a pure dielectric cable with special magnetosensitive fiber inside. It should be wrapped around the bus to provide close loop of measurement. The number of optical turns of the cable around the bus defines the rated current to measure. 2. Bus bar. Sensing element is located inside of a hard case that can be used in its own for lower voltages and together with thin insulator for higher voltage levels. This option has extremely light weight, approximately 65 kg for 123 kV and approximately 170 kg for 500 kV and can be mounted on the existing bus bar or switch pole. 3. Standalone Sensing element is located inside of a hard case that is mounted on the composite insulator. This looks like a conventional current transformer, but it has a lot of advantages. No oil and sulfur hexafluoride, so it can be mounted in any direction under any angle. It has reduced weight, approximately 100 kg for 123 kV, etc. Fully dielectric column does not affect external electric and magnetic fields and is not sensitive to them. Electronic processing units of the EFOCT is a 4U case for mounting into a standard 19-inch rack. Status LEDs are located on the front panel and the information is displayed on the screen for convenience. Current is measured in three separate single-phase electronic optical modules which operate independently from each other, so the damage at one phase will not affect the others. As an option, a three-phase conventional voltage transformer digitizer board can be installed that allows measuring secondary voltages from analog voltage transformers in the whole range synchronously with the current measurements. Another essential part of the EPU is an IEC 61850 board, which is responsible for synchronization and communication with process bus and substation bus. Talking about data streams, we assume that the customer can select for each of the two process bus pairs one or two different streams, which are published simultaneously and can have completely different settings in order to meet any need. All data streams are synchronized with each other and correspond to the physically measured values with their own low-pass filter applied to reduce the white noise of sampling and calculation. Talking about conventional current transformers, Everything is about the rated current and core saturation. These are the most critical points for selection and operation of the current transformers. An ideal current transformer must have linear characteristic for as much range as possible. 
In the best case scenario, it will continue its normal operation when dynamical current is applied. We have solved this problem. Our EFOCT can easily measure low currents from 1% of the rated in metering range up to dynamical currents. On the one hand, this helps to minimize human factor. And on the other hand, it can receive real values of the tripped current to calculate the remaining resource of the switch contact. To our mind, we no longer need 20 to 30 different transformers for different rated currents. We assume that only four load classes will be enough. This is much easier for the design and operation of the substations. The next critical point for the instrument transformers is amplitude and phase dependencies while measuring the harmonics. The principle of the Proofutech EFOCT is very fast and precise measurement of amplitude of the instantaneous value. All points are measured in DC mode independently from previous measurements. This gives us an ideal amplitude performance, having zero phase error in harmonics and transients. This also guarantees the best possible performance in aperiodic current measurements. The figures show the accuracy limits for the protection, metering, and quality according to the IEC 60044 and IEC 61869. The green line corresponds to data stream with 256 samples per cycle and 3000 Hz low-pass filter applied. This is commonly used for metering and precise fault recordings. The blue line corresponds to protection data stream, which is limited by 80 samples per period by the standard. In order to reduce noise in the measured signals, we suggest the customers to apply a 500 Hz low-pass filter. This gives the 11th harmonics without any attenuation that is enough for all the protection relays. Transients are the most attractive points of EFOCT application. Digital substation is not only digital, but also the next step in measuring quality. Having a digital substation with merging units architecture that provides digital stream from conventional current transformers will give only a declaration of quality. The saturation of the primary current transformers will be multiplied by the extra merging unit's own errors. We have performed a full-scale test in the high-power lab. Short-circuit current was injected both in a conventional current transformer and EFOCT. Value of the injected current was lower than the maximum allowed for that current transformer. As you can see, only the EFOCT provides protection terminal with an ideal waveform from the beginning till the end of the experiment. One of the main goals of digital substation technology is the interoperability between the components of different vendors. Profutech EFOCT has passed a lot of compatibility tests with most of the world leaders in digital protection. The list on this slide shows the devices which were successfully tested in labs and implemented in our pilot project. All of them were deeply tested in Profutech test center by injecting of the real currents loosing, synchronization, etc. During the last eight years, Profutech was involved in numerous pilot projects in Russia and worldwide. But only during the last two years, most of the customers have improved their understanding of the digital substation technology and became ready to formulate their expectations and requirements for the equipment and digital substation as a whole. This launched a lot of tests and improvements in multiple vendors' production. The second part of this presentation will be dedicated to the most outstanding latest tests and pilot projects. The pilot project, with two digital substations 110 6 kV located in different climatic zones, one in West Siberia, extremely cold operational zone, another one in Bransk, Middle European climate. Both substations are located in Russia and belong to Transneft and supply oil pumping stations. These substations are equipped with fiber optical current transformers and electronic voltage transformers with redundancy for protection and commercial metering on all voltage levels. 110 kV transformers installed outdoors, 6 kV installed partially outdoors for transformer protection, and in 6 kV cubicle cells for outgoing lines. This allowed implementing the full set of substation protections line, differential, and transformer protections. During the test period since 2019, all faults have been compared between analog and digital terminals. Several mistakes in projecting were found, investigated, and fixed. Since January 2020, the substations are in test period. The substation personnel operates the equipment on their own. 
In 2020, metrological part of the substation was certified by National Metrology Institute and was selected as the main metering system. All types of the protections operate normally. No maloperations during faults were detected. Since a lot of EFOCTs are installed in the redundant mode, it was a great challenge to increase repeatability of the technical parameters. Compatibility is a major issue not only for the manufacturers, but also for grid companies. This caused Italian grid operator Turner to start a huge independent compatibility test of protections for the digital substations. For this purpose, an Italian laboratory Cesi in Milano was selected. In 2018 and 2019, the test program was developed, the equipment was prepared, and finally various tests were carried out. The most interesting part of this experiment was the simultaneous testing of analog and digital protection terminals of the same series from three worldwide vendors. Analog test signals were injected into analog inputs of conventional terminals and at the same time into the EFOCT with flexible sensor and EVTCD by Provo Tech that being combined together were it as a single combined non-conventional current and voltage transformer shown on the scheme as merging units for voltage and current. Digital stream IEC 618509-2LA SV80 was transmitted to digital version of protection terminals. During the tests, they checked the precision of measuring by EFOCT, EVTCD and terminals, performed most of the standard tests for the protection. These tests are listed in the table and checked auxiliary functions such as fault recording, distance to break functions, and other important issues. The main result was that both systems, the digital one with transformers and the conventional analog one, passed all the tests, so we can claim that digital substation equipment is ready for broader field testing. This experiment is outstanding for several reasons. One. It was the first experience of a three-phase test with a real currents and single-phase short circuit held in a laboratory for testing differential line protections. Previous tests in other laboratories were mostly for line protection or local differential protection. 2. Kima Laboratories developed and successfully launched the test model where line differential protection was tested, even adding extra time gap for package delivery. Three. From one side of the modeled line, a merging unit was installed, connected to a conventional transformer, and from the other side, EFOCT. 4. During the test, they checked the merging unit, protection terminals, and EFOCT from a single vendor, ABB. It was easy to estimate that the system can pass the test. For extra testing, they used a digital stream from the pre-installed in the laboratory reference Profutech EFOCT. You can see it on the picture as LPIT1. Comparing the measurements from ABB and Profutech EFOCTs, we can claim that both devices correspond to each other within the accuracy class. The test with differential protection was conducted, and Profutech EFOCT also started the protection, so we can say that our EFOCT corresponds to the interoperability requirements of ABB Digital Substation product line. The next important question for the manufacturers of innovative products always concerns the time stability of the technology. Fiber optical digital transformers are quite new. Older versions of the EFOCT from different vendors that have analog interfaces have comparatively long lifetime. For example, Profitech has been operating EFOCT with the same optical technology and fiber in harsh environments of aluminum smelter facilities for more than eight years. But the technical progress does not slow down, and all the manufacturers have updated their product lines for design of primary sensors and electronics. The same goes for us. The last hardware updates were made four years ago, from which we are calculating operational stability of installed devices. This project was initiated by EDF, France, to check how harsh environment influences the latest design of the EFOCT and EVTCD. For this test, we have manufactured a single-phase combined current and voltage transformer, where optical sensitive head is installed on Condis capacitive voltage divider with fiber passage inside. During the test, it was verified that trained personnel can perform installation and maintenance of the equipment and check the accuracy before the test and during the test. As the result, 
we can see that under accelerated aging, BFOCT stays in its currency class and continues the operation. It is not a secret that pilot projects have two purposes. First of all, to check innovative equipment in real conditions, and the second one is developing a niche solution for an actual problem. This project is aimed at solving the problem of protection of cable inserts on the substations between gas-insulated switchgear and aerial lines. One of the main goals of this protection is to stop automatic reclosing if the cable is damaged and to allow it if the fault is in the overhead line. In order to do no harm to the primary scheme of the substation, EFOCTs with flexible sensor were selected. They were mounted on the cable bushings on the air-insulated switchyard. Digital IEC 618509-2LA data stream was sent to FSEC TPU 300 protection terminals, which have an option of combined analog and digital streams input. The second measurement was carried out with the terminal itself using analog connection to the built-in gas-insulated switchgear conventional current transformers. Protection terminal acts as differential protection and locates the fault. After that, manages the auto-reclosing function. While the pilot was set to normal operation, 2019, four cases of short circuits were detected on the aerial line, which were successfully automated reclosured. Vibration is one of the critical factors influencing the electronic and optical equipment. Due to its light weight and other advantages, it is advisable to locate EFOCT directly on the high-voltage switch pole to eliminate dead zones of the protection. For this purpose, Profitech developed a Bosbar EFOCT for the Federal Grid Company of Russia that can be easily installed on the 500 kV T-switch pole. Test EFOCT mounted on the switch successfully passed all the necessary high-voltage type tests in dry and wet state. And after that, it successfully passed the long endurance test for 2000 cycles CO of the switch. The main difference from the common endurance test was that EFOCT was in operation during the whole test, the test current was injected, and metrological functions were checked. After finishing the test, the sensing head was disassembled and carefully studied. Since there was no damage found, Profitech EFOCT is considered ready for the pilots as mounted directly on the switch solution. Fiber optical current transformers are electronic, so the electromagnetic compatibility is the next critical point. Unlike other pilot projects with voltage levels up to 220 kV, this 500 kV substation provides more complexity due to higher voltage levels. This substation is located in West Siberia and has extremely low operational temperatures and high temperature gradients that add their value to the pilot complexity. EFOCT and EVTCD are installed on two aerial lines that supply a chemical plant under construction, so during operation there were lots of remote short circuits detected. All of them show the same results as analog fault recorders. To make a conclusion about future pilot projects, two experiments were performed on this substation. 1. Re-energizing of the 250 MV Amper 500 kV Auto Transformer 2. Manual single phase to earth fault on the energized 500 kV line The highest interest was directed to re-energizing of the 500 kV Auto Transformer that is one of the critical points of grid operation. During this experiment, long-term aperiodic process of the inrush current was detected that continued for several seconds. When recorded currents were investigated and compared to each other, it was concluded that EFOCT measurements fully correspond to the theoretical models of the inrush current for such case. Analog system goes to saturation due to the presence of the DC component in inrush current. Moreover, the curve displacement observed at electromagnetic current transformers results in a decrease of root mean square value that was also taken into account by relay protection. In conclusion, we can say that EFOCTs allow performing differential protection of power transformers with increased sensitivity and reduced time. Optical current transformers help to distinguish true internal faults from differential current caused by magnetizing inrush phenomenon. The second experiment on this substation involved creating a manual single-phase short circuit on the energized line. 
During this experiment, it was concluded that Profitec EFOCT has the following advantages compared to the conventional ones. 1. At the moment of the beginning of the phase to earth fault, a single current pulse is recorded in the electromagnetic current transformer of undamaged phases with an amplitude four times higher than the recorded by EFOCT. 2. The current in line prior to the fault, about 5 amperes, and the short circuit currents, approximately 3 kilo amperes. EFOCT measures more accurately and cleaner than the analog channels of the terminals. 3. After switching the line off near zero current of the damaged phase, the electromagnetic current transformer outputs an unreliable value with a constant component about 25 amperes, which gradually decreases to zero. EFOCT shows correct values immediately. The spectral composition of the current recorded by analog and optical current transformers is almost the same. The main error of the analog current transformer is in the constant component of the short circuit current, which gradually magnetizes the core. Main and redundant proof attack EFOCTs show the same current and spectrum during the complete experiment. The use of optical current transformers will allow you to build more effective protection systems by optimizing algorithms and selecting better set values. In conclusion, we would like to say a few words about our company. Profutech today is a full cycle of development, production and maintenance of digital instrument transformers for all voltage levels, producing transformers on an industrial basis. The company has its own accredited test center and metrological laboratory. The whole production cycle is certified by Bureau Veritas Certification Russia for ISO 9001-2015 standard. Since 2017, we have a European partner, Swiss company Condis, that distributes proof attack production on European and North American markets under the common brand Condis Proof Attack. Thanks to your attention.